And while I started 20 years ago, uh, focusing on angiogenesis as a common denominator of disease, what I've now realized is that angiogenesis is even more important as a common denominator in health. One of the biggest debates in society now is how do we actually manage health care? Uh, and in fact, because our health care is really sick care. We spend a lot of time diagnosing diseases and treating them long after the horse is out of the barn. Health care is really about preventing diseases from happening. And it's actually something that doesn't happen at the doctor's office. It's actually to happen before the patient and the person ever gets to the doctor's office. And in fact, keeps them from the doctor's office. From my research, what I'm learning is that there are common threads that link health and disease. And if we learn to think about our bodies from the process that keeps us healthy and look at the mirror image of how those processes, when they go awry, can lead to disease, we're able to anchor our thinking scientifically, medically, from a research perspective as well as a practice perspective into what we need to do to keep those healthy systems uh, functioning in the right way. Angiogenesis is one of those healthy defense systems of the body. So if we can keep our body's angiogenesis systems functioning, healthy, then angiogenesis could be like the immune system, the inflammatory system, the blood clotting system, and be one of those hallmark systems in the body that allow us to stay healthy.